well over a million Americans are living with some form of congenital heart defect, which is a condition they are born with. And one of the most advanced congenital heart programs in the country is right here in West Michigan at the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. We have the co-director of it here with us today, Dr. Marcus Ha. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So when we talk about congenital heart defects, this is the largest uh, the problem with newborns and the largest uh, defect when you talk about children coming into the world. That's correct, yeah. Um, more children have uh, congenital heart lesions than any other congenital problem that a baby could be born with. So it's a, it's a, it's a fairly big problem for children. It's small in the community, so most people will not know much about it. Mm -hmm. But for us in that specialty, it's, it seems to be really, really common. Yeah, and when you say it's common, it's common here in West Michigan and all over the country. Let's talk about some of the statistics because they're very alarming. Mm -hmm. And what are you seeing mm -hmm. at your practice? Well, actually, what we, what we see nowadays uh, with modern medicine is that most moms who are pregnant uh, actually have a fetal ultrasound. Mm -hmm. And so we're actually picking up more and more of these uh, defects in the womb. And so we will be able to actually talk to parents before um, before the baby is born and give them some sort of idea of the spectrum of disease that we can expect and what treatments might be necessary in either the newborn period or later on in life. Okay, you're saying diagnosis is often when the baby is still in the womb, but that's not always the case. No, sometimes sadly a baby is born and, and the, the problem becomes apparent as a surprise or even some very, very occasionally a baby can be critically ill and need an urgent transfer into Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Okay, and what is the treatment like? Because I imagine for a parent, I just had my first mm. child, you know, you want your baby to be safe and healthy and happy, obviously. When a parent gets that diagnosis that their child has a congenital heart disorder or heart disease, what are their options and what are some of the treatments that you offer? Well, obviously, when, when a family hears the news, it must be devastating because yeah. we're all scared for our children and we're all scared if you have to go through surgery and the thought of heart surgery uh, is probably, the, probably about the worst thing you can hear. Mm -hmm. Um, so the first thing that we do is to try to counsel the family about exactly what it is mm -hmm. and what the success rate of treatment is. And we're really lucky we're in a moment of history where 98% of babies will survive the treatment and most of those children who survive the treatment will grow up reasonably healthy, able to exercise. Um, and even in many, many of the diagnoses, go into adult life very healthy and be able to have children of their own and live a full life. So the news isn't always devastating when you explain it in its full detail, but it's very, very important that we get across that message that the, the treatment options are effective mm -hmm. and uh, that the vast majority of children come through the treatment. Yeah, there is hope because technology is so advanced now, especially at the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. So if a child is diagnosed with this issue, when they grow up, is this still a concern? Is this something that you would recommend that they get checked out when they enter adulthood? That's a really good question. One of the biggest problems that we've created almost, if, if we look back 60 years, there was no treatment. Mm -hmm. So the vast majority of children passed away. Uh, in the 60s and 70s, the innovators changed that so that we were able to, you know, treat these problems for the first time in our history. In the 1990s, the technocrats came along and then this became routine. And so now we have a whole load of 20-year-olds who have very, very complicated hearts. And things, unfortunately, do go wrong in adult life. And unfortunately, we were so proud of ourselves in the 1980s that we told families, yeah, we've survived, it's great. You're fixed. And unfortunately, a lot of people feel when they're adults, they're completely fixed and don't need follow-up. And that's actually can be, can lead to some dangerous things happening in relatively young life, in your 20s and 30s. So one of the big things for a congenital heart center is not only to treat fetus, uh, fetal diagnosis and neonatal surgery, but to extend that care right throughout life so that we can give people the best opportunity to live a full life. 
Well, thank you so much, Doctor, for everything that you're doing. And we know that there's a, a special program happening at area hospitals. It's through Mended Little Hearts, and uh, babies are receiving little red hats that have been knit by volunteers, as we just saw on the video. People can get more information by going to our website. Thank you so much. Thank you. We thank you for having it. me. Don't go away. We'll have more 8 West when we come back. Are you West?